So after reading that uh, 2020 book, all, all, sort of all ten pages of it. Yeah. All right. I hope you paced what yourself. With, uh, <laughs> uh, talent management and whatnot. One thing that I keep reflecting back on is um, some of us here, like like us three, we manage AGR soldiers. We're we're active duty, but we manage these guys, and we see consistently where they're promoted automatically. So why does any of this even matter? because no one's looking at it and they're just getting automatically promoted. I'm not sure if the active component works that same way, but all the way up to E7, pretty much a given. Yeah, so that that's the, uh, it kind of went back to our earlier question about the Guard and Reserve. I mean, each has their own way of interpreting what we put out. Uh, um, you know, so I, I, I don't know how to specifically answer um, your, your concern. I, I do know, it, it, I don't know about automatic. Um, they, they still have to be PME qualified. Uh, they still have to have their DLC done. So I don't know how automatic it is. I know uh, Guard does vacancy promotions, right? Uh, I'm not sure about no, we're, we're reserved. Oh, sorry. So Guard does like vacancy, my understanding. Mm -hmm. So that can cause you to move and be eligible to compete on a list for promotion it might be faster than some so I, I don't know enough to answer that one but but the, the, this the, that philosophy uh, is 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 has to be spread across all three components not not just AC so I don't know how to happy to take it on I mean I, I'm, I'm having a I will see uh, both the guard and reserve sergeant major in about a week um, and ask them that question.